Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Have you ever been in need of an image you just don't have? Now this could be for any reason, but if you're watching videos like mine, most often you'll need an image because you're trying to learn a specific post-processing technique. For example, you're watching a video and the person in the video is editing a specific type of landscape image, a type of landscape image that you just don't have, so you cannot practice along at home. Or maybe they're working on a lifestyle image or a wedding photo. Really any type of image you could think of, including an image of a person in a studio taken with strobe lights. Well, if you ever find that you need a type of image that you don't have, but you have an Adobe Creative Cloud subscription. Now I'm not talking about having the extra Creative Cloud stock photography subscription that costs like an extra $20 a month. I'm talking about just having a basic Creative Cloud subscription. You have access to thousands of free images. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you could get them. Okay, I want to stress that you do not need the stock subscription that costs extra. You just need your basic Creative Cloud subscription. Now, to get those free images, first of all, I'm going to minimize Photoshop. What you need to do is open up the Creative Cloud app. On a Mac, it's right here. I'll click on it, and there's the Creative Cloud app. On a PC, you probably have to search for it. And when you do, yours will look just like this. Now, there's two different ways you could get to these stock images. Well, actually, three different ways. You could search right here. But don't do that because that won't get you those actual free ones. This will just uh, try to get you to sign up for Adobe Stock. You don't want to do that. The other way you could do it is you could click here on Stock right here. And the third way, and the way I recommend you do it, is click right here and click on Stock and Marketplace. And when you do that, you'll get a search bar. And it will say Images. Again, these aren't the free ones. To get the free ones, go to this drop down and go down here and click Free. That's all you got to do. Now we're going to click, let's say, Wedding and hit enter. That will open up your browser and it will bring you to a bunch of wedding images. Hover over one. You'll see in the lower left hand corner it says free. You'll see in the lower right hand corner it says license. All you gotta do is license it and it will automatically save it to your computer. So it's going to download it to your computer and it's going to save it to your library online and you'll have access to that inside of Photoshop and I'll show you that in a moment how to do that. So again, you could search for everything. Just make sure that this drop down over here says free. And actually images aren't all that uh, will be included. You'll also see graphics and other things as well. Now let's just say that I um, wanna say, uh, find a woman in studio. Just like that and click enter. And you could see here's many, many images of women in a studio with a, you know, so if you're doing a composite, you're practicing a composite. You could come in here and get an image like this and practice clipping the person out from the background. And as I mentioned, there's a lot. And you can see there's a hundred pages of free images. So you could just keep clicking through and find an image. And you just double check when you hover over it that it does say free in the lower left hand corner. And you could find any type of image in the world. And you could do that. Now, once you do download an image, let's say I'm going to download another one. I'll download this one here. All right. So it, it saves it to your computer. And what I typically do is take those that are saved to my computer and I put those in Lightroom because you do not have access to them directly in Lightroom. So I save those to Lightroom so I have them in Lightroom. Then what I do is in Photoshop, I don't need to save them there. Now I'm gonna close this. Watch this over a little quirk. When I close this, it brings me back to my browser. But anyway, um, we'll go back to Photoshop and now to get access to these images what you need to do is go to your libraries tab Now I'm in the photography workspace. If you're not in the photography workspace um, you probably um, Might or you may not have libraries right here, but you got to find it If not you could go up to window and then down to libraries right here and you'll open it up 
Okay, so go to the Libraries tab, and we'll pull this down even more. And you'll see the two I just downloaded are right here, not grouped, and that wedding one. Here, let's open the wedding one. Let's open the other one. Just double click on it and you'll open them. So if I was doing a composite and I needed to clip her out, um, I could do it right here. And if I was doing something, practicing something with weddings, maybe learning how to add, you know, sun rays or something in an image, um, I have a wedding shot now I could work on. And of course, I had this one I started with was a photographer in the studio having her picture taken. Now what I like to do is I like to organize mine so I drag them up to images up here and then you can see all my stock images are up in here. Now I use quite a few because I use them to create usually, not always, but often I'll use them to create the thumbnails for my videos. So I use them and I, and I do the, use them in videos as well. So if I was doing something, let's say on compositing, um, I would take or get a stock image like this and demonstrate how to clip her out and put her in a different scene and stuff like that. So if you want free images and actually free vectors and free other things as well, they're all included in that free category. You could just, again, go to your Creative Cloud app, go to Stock and Marketplace, make sure the dropdown says free and start searching. Hopefully that helps you uh, get images that will help you better learn post-processing. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.